going to teach distributive property and factoring because factoring is just the reverse of distributive property. In fact, when we factor, we're actually kind of creating a distributive property question in the way that we would normally see it. So I'm going to show you a distributive property question that we have right here in front of us. And that could also be written, they try to disguise it sometimes, it could be written like 3x minus 6 first, and then they might put the 4 in parentheses behind it. But these mean the same thing. What they mean is we're distributing the number 4 to the terms inside of the parentheses. Alright, let me show you what I mean. We want to multiply 4 by both terms inside the parentheses. So just like we do when we are adding and subtracting terms or when we're trying to figure out whether we have a positive or a negative term, I'm going to circle them within the parentheses. And I know that this is a positive 3x and this is a negative 6. I'm going to multiply by 4 to both of them. And so what I want to do, I usually just cross it out. And I'm going to multiply by 4 on top of both of them. Now, putting the parentheses on top of the 3x and also the negative 6 allows me to not make the mistake of just multiplying 4 times the first term which would be 3x. A lot of students only multiply 4 times that first term and forget to do it to the second term or maybe the third or fourth if there's more terms inside of the parentheses. This way we've created two multiplication problems that we have to do. 4 times 3x well, 4 times 3 is 12. And so if I want to multiply 3x times 4, I'm going to have a total of 12 positive x's. 4 times negative 6, well, a positive times a negative is going to give me a negative. And 6 times 4, but yeah, 24. So I'm going to have negative 24. All right, let me show you another distributive property question what happens if we're going to distribute a negative to the terms inside of the parentheses? Well, we just have to follow our integer rules for multiplication. So I'm going to circle my terms inside the parentheses. I have a positive 8 and I have a negative 4x. And I'm going to multiply both of these by negative 2. Now, if you didn't remember your integer rules. I have a video on multiplying and dividing sign numbers and it deals with Mickey Mouse. Mickey's face is positive but his ears are negative. And so if you have to figure out what type of number you're going to get, just draw Mickey and we're going to go ahead and put our positive 8 in his face because that's positive and a negative 2 in his ear and so we know that our answer has to be negative. We just have to now know what's 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16. So there's our first answer, negative 16. The other side of things, two negatives, what do they make? Well, two negatives would make a positive. And then we just need to know what 2 times 4 is going to be. And that's going to be 8. So we have positive 8x's in this case because we were multiplying negative 2 times negative 4x. So there's our answer when we distribute by a negative. All right, let's take a look at how to factor because we're going to start with what we just ended with and we're going to go back to make it look like a distributive property question. Okay, if we start with an expression like negative 12x plus 20, we know that 2 can divide into both 12 and 20, but we want to look for the largest number that can divide into both of these terms if possible. And remember, it's going to look like a distributive property question when we're done. So I have the kids draw parentheses and we can put some underlines here knowing that we're going to have a term on the outside of the parentheses and we're going to have, in this case, two terms inside the parentheses. Well, what can divide into 12 and 20 evenly and be larger than 2? Well, it's going to be 4. So I'm going to put that outside of the parentheses right away because Division seems to be a little bit tougher than multiplication for some reason with middle school students. So 4 times what is going to give me negative 12x? Well, I know it's going to be an x. That's first of all. I know it's got to be negative. 
because a positive times a negative will give us a negative. So 4 times what gives us 12? Well, that's 3. So I have a negative 3x inside the parentheses. And then I have to figure out 4 times what gives me positive 20. And that's going to be a positive 5. That's it. This right here is our answer when we factor negative 12x plus 20. That's it. So just remember, factoring is what we can pull out from an expression. Distributive property is taking a number outside the parentheses and distributing it or giving it to each of the terms inside the parentheses. And when we give it to it, we got to multiply that outside term times our inside terms.